So this is my iMac. Um, I'm gonna need to open her up because uh, a little enthusiastic boy thought it might play um, a beer coaster, which obviously it doesn't, and now I can't stick any DVDs into it anymore. Uh, this is really my spare computer, so I only use it to watch some movies, play some DVDs. Um, since I don't own a TV, yes, I don't own a TV. I only watch movies, I don't watch TV really. Um, and I'm actually surprised at how, how easy it really is. I, I thought you, you really need special suction cups to remove the display and uh, the glass plate would be very heavy. Um, it isn't. Um, you just have to be sure that um, you lift it up straight. Um, I'll show you how. Um, I got these really cheap um, suction cups. Actually, they're uh, usually holding uh, a little holder in my bathroom to, you know, put your shampoos in and the whole thing. Um, I cleaned up the screen a little bit with a screen cleaner so that they would adhere properly. And really the thing you do is just, you know, just gently push it up. Now you have to be careful because the screen is, is holed up by these little pins. Um, and if you don't pull them up, pull, pull the, 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 the cover up straight, then you're going to break them. And they break easy. So I'll show you. This is what happens. It's supposed to be here. I thought it'd be easier to uh, not do it straight, and that's what you get. Um, but it's off. So not too hard. As you can see, there's like I don't know if you can see it actually. Um, this has been damaged. Um, it's never been removed. This cover, but somehow it did decolorize or whatever. So I might just leave it off completely if I can't clean it, because, you know, if this is gone, probably the screen will reflect less in any case, which is really very nice. Anyway, so then there is, um, um, they don't use like Phillips, they use this special screwdriver, which I'm gambling I have the size for, and I don't know, so it's because they're tiny. And this one is just a bit too big. So to continue this little, this little project, I shall have to visit the tool store and get a smaller one. All right, so let me go, go ahead and do that and um, I'll continue the recording after. All right, a small visit to the tool store later and I got the, the right size. The right size torque, uh, which is eight. In case you're wondering, or I need to do a tool store run for it, it's torque eight. Um, instead of uh, letting you watch me unscrew all the uh, all the tiny screws around the screen, uh, I just already went ahead and did it. Um, there are a couple here. Just unscrew them all. They're all eight size. Uh, the only Phillips head is actually of the memory cover, which you can find right here. Um, you know, you need to remove that one if you want to take the, the iMac apart. Um, so I actually never done this before. So, um, you know, I'm filming this as a, as a discovery journey, I guess. So I'm just going to remove them all right now and see how it opens up. Um, so bear with me. And, uh, See what happens. If I missed out on something or, or not. Um, it feels loose, so that's good. Um, I might have to turn it around, I'm not sure. It's going to be also a, this journey of discovery what's exactly in there. I suspect it's a coaster, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, there it goes. Um, you can see you have to be careful here with. What I guess is the wire for the webcam, yeah. Or no, it's the, the wire for the microphone actually. So I'm just gonna put it apart here. 
So there, there it is, the inside of the iMac. This is the first time I've seen the inside of an iMac, actually. It's a bit dusty, it's an older, older model, so... Um, I can see that the bad news for me here is that I'm gonna probably have to remove the screen as well. Um, again, those are Torque 8s, from what I can see. Um, obviously I need to get to the DVD drive <coughs> To see what's in there but I'm gonna have a quick look because as you can see they oh there you go so you know uh, nice lesson here this is uh, the, the screen actually the glass is held into place by magnets and it just grabbed all of my screws so anyway um, okay uh, I'm gonna gently just turn it around because there's like this little piece of filt here, which prevents me from looking inside of uh, the DVD drive, so I might get lucky and I might be able with a, pin with a set of tweezers to get out what's actually stuff in there. Oh, I can see it actually. I can see the... and I was right, it is a coaster. It's a beer coaster. And it's pretty deep in there. Um, that's going to be a challenge to get out, but I'm just going to give it a whirl anyway. Um, I had a thick set of tweezers laying here. Thinking that the size of, uh, of the bay entrance is actually too small to really use tweezers, but I'm just going to try anyway. I have to be gentle with, uh, with uh, the wire for the microphone. Yeah, that's what I expect it. It's so, it's so narrow that it just pushes the tweezers together before I can get to, to the coaster. I might try some sort of tape trick and see if, if I can get somewhere with that. Well, let's, let's get creative. I'll, I'll pause, pause the camera for a bit and collect some tape and see if we can get it out that way. So the adventure continues. Um, I came up with a new idea. Um, this is double-sided tape. Look at that. I glued it to the knife. Now, same trick. Make some room with the screwdriver behind the, the, the coaster and see if we can get somewhere with that. Um, obviously this is much thinner and it's not sticky on both sides, so I think this might actually work. So. Um, you know, remaining positive here. So, so again, sticking it in side of uh, the inside of the, the drive is plastic, so you can move it a little bit. Just be careful. Um, I don't know how how common it is for for uh, people to have to remove coasters from DVD drives, but I'm sure the little boy that came up with this wasn't the first. So, okay, it's behind it. It's stuck to the coaster now, um, which is great. Now, there, there is a, there's a little detection uh, plastic, if you will, um, inside the drive to, to, so that iMac can detect that uh, you're trying to insert um, a DVD and to activate the mechanism to, you know, grab hold of it and push it inside. Um, we have to just, like, push that to the left and then, 
Hey, there we go. So, what happened here is a beer coaster jammed inside of the DVD drive while there was a DVD in there. Now, I'm very happy. There you go. And that's, uh, what movie is that? Oh, that's 24 days later, or 28 days later, or something. Well, anyway, almost a month later, that, that zombie movie. <clears throat> um, I'm so happy now, because, oh, look at that. Like, the drive really chewed on, 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 on the coaster. It's amazing. So, double-sided tape, guys, you can get it out. You can even get a CD out with this, because it just ticks to it. So if you have a broken drive and you want a CD out or, or, or something or the other, this is the way to do it. You can do it. You, you don't even have to remove those screws here. Um, what an adventure. I feel like MacGyver now, but okay. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to frame this. Uh, it's, um, it's a beer coaster for a Polish beer. Uh, all right. So, okay, uh, time to put the whole thing back together. Um, I'm not going to show you that because it's just the reverse from, you know, taking it apart. I'm sure you guys are savvy enough to, uh, to figure that one out. Okay, um, thanks for watching and hope uh, this never happens to you.